Hello, my name is Yusuf, South Sinai Dahab, Red Sea. This is my story of how I became a Muslim and how I ended up in paradise. I have finally made it to Dahab. It is stunning out here on the Red Sea of Egypt. I've heard a lot about this place over the years and I'm just super excited to finally be here and see what it's all about. And you'd never expect there to be this perfect little hippie town out here in the middle of the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, but it is true, this place has an incredible, charming vibe. And honestly, when I travel around the world, I try to find the most interesting and inspiring people that I can find. So when my friends told me yesterday about a guy named Yusuf, I immediately contacted him. And you guys are not gonna believe what this guy has to say. He's full of insight full of knowledge and I'm just really excited to tell you his story. Why Dahab? Dahab uh, just happened like that really. I was uh, busy promoting diving and technical diving in Charm and we have some of the deepest and the best places here. You know that, Blue Hole. So I promoted technical diving and all the, all the dive gear that went with it. I left in 2010 and I came back uh, in 2017. So I was uh, seven years away. But now Yusuf has come back to Dahab with a completely different mission in mind. I've come here to uh, basically uh, speak to the next generation, which is very important to me. And uh, I came with a message from my father. And the message is this, it's called the law of one. The law of one is you have two choices in life, either to serve yourself or to serve others. If you serve yourself, you're not gonna pass the test of life. If you serve others, you serve others with love and forgiveness. Now in the days that we're living, and we see that all these love generators are being shut down, families are being separated, churches and mosques and also synagogues are being closed, now is more than ever that the people really need to understand that service to others is the only way that we're going to generate love. That's so well said. A lot of people have never heard of Dahab. How would you explain it to them? What draws you to it so much? Let's put it this way. In the Bible, also in the Quran, Egypt has always been a place of safety and learning for God's chosen, okay? We start with Abraham, then we have Joseph, then we have Moses, and then we have Jesus. Now, if you, if you know these characters, not one of these characters was Egyptian but they benefited from Egypt. Now Moses wandered with the, the children of Israel in, uh, in, in this desert. So this desert is a chosen place of God. This is the cradle where God keeps us very, very safe. His full-time job is serving rice pudding on the streets of Dahab. Since I'm a chemist, I used to work in the oil field for uh, 20 years. I know how to mix things very well. Egyptians love rice pudding, but I did it with a bit of a twist. Plus I ice it down since Dahab is the South Sinai, it's very, very warm. He rides his bicycle up and down the main roads of Dahab in the blazing hot sun that can reach up to 50 degrees Celsius or 122 Fahrenheit. Okay. I average roughly about 18 to 25 kilometers every day. Yeah, good exercise. It sure is. And then as I'm riding, I say, Rose de Blaben! Rose de Blaben! Rose de Blaben Metallic! Rice pudding! Rice pudding! Come and get it, folks! Rice pudding! <laughs> All right. Do you like his rice pudding? Yusuf's rice pudding has gotten so popular that pretty much everyone knows him in town. You could call him a local celebrity. Well, it's beautiful because we're all a family and uh, we all love each other and we take care of each other. And we have to be comfortable with each other so that we can be aware of their needs. <laughs> Everything okay? Yes, alhamdulillah. Can I do anything to help you? No? No? Okay. <laughs> As you may have been able to tell by his name, Yusuf converted to Islam, and I was really curious to learn about what inspired him to do so. I converted to Islam about 14, 15 years ago. See, my parents were, were missionaries, or evangelical missionaries, so I was raised with the Bible between my teeth. But when I fell in love with Islam, I know the, I know the Quran better than many Imams, because I read it and I studied it very, very deeply. What was the first moment where you said, I really like this religion? Well, it was uh, one third of the way through the Quran. I had this feeling that welled up from inside and hit my head. And uh, it was a tingling sensation. And I said, holy crap, uh, I'm a Muslim. Yeah, that was, uh, that was basically the revelation. And you pray five times a day? And you're five times a day, and I fast during Ramadan, sometimes during the week. It does me good. Amazing. You mind me asking your age? Oh, my age, I'm 60. 60. I, I was born in 1960. This is the year uh, 2020. 
So yeah, 60 and 60. That was really an awesome experience to meet Yusuf. I, that's a guy I can talk to for literally days and days and, and never uh, get bored. I mean, this guy has, has seen everything and he's, he knows so much and, and he's just a really cool person just to connect with. And so it's been a really awesome experience. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been really spontaneous, but you know, these are the, the ones that always turn out the best, right? When, when they're not planned. So um, I'm gonna continue traveling around Egypt, around Sinai. It is just incredible here. I can't even tell you guys. I hope you've been enjoying these stories. Uh, they've been a lot of fun to make and um, a lot more coming soon. So I hope you guys are all well. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you tomorrow.